It is 2 p.m. 2 p.m. yesterday, we were on the top of La Bray, <laughs> contemplating a four and a quarter hour walk down. That's the problem. <laughs> Although we didn't realise it at the time. 2 p.m. today, our total movement will amount to less than 10 metres, I should imagine. <laughs> In some cases, less. Do you know what a quincorine is? No. Could you at some time look it up for me? Yes. Be because we only leave at very precise hours, <laughs> it is exactly four o'clock. <laughs> and we are leaving the flat and going up there. Actually up. Where is it? Sort of... Oh, big finger. There, out there. Um, to go and book a table for a couple of nights' time because it's a restaurant called Kemi Stuber and then we're going to go into town down that way and do some shopping in general. Messing around because today has been a very slow day. Today has been watching uh, Cold Bear on iTunes Day in the mountains, slightly incongruous. We've arrived at the top. You have to come all this way just to book a table. <laughs> Quite impressive that there's lots of cloud up here. Let's go in. Although you'll see this in detail on Saturday. This is Reed Church, very nice church, we always just come for a quick nose and then the rather morbid action of seeing who's been added to the graveyard. Let's check out the new residence. Um, Mrs Books, Mrs Moore, Mr Studer and somebody who they've pretty much grown an entire flower bed around. Max. Ah, poor Max. It's quite dark in here. You get the idea. This is the weather currently in Swaziland. Can't see the mountains. Time for some more shopping. Back at Swaziland station following quite a torrential downpour. Time is quarter to seven. And that is the train from Montreux. Which means Anna should have arrived just moments ago. You brought really good weather with you. Only one more member of the party to arrive in two hours from now. All that's changed is the time. It's now quarter to nine. And Pin is arriving. Should be on this train here. So, let's see what time we get up tomorrow. <laughs> right then, it's uh, 25 to 1. We're at Darstetten, that's how it's spelt. And we're about to continue our walk down the valley that we've been doing for the last couple of years towards Spietz on the Lake Toon. 
So we'll be heading off momentarily once I've rung Swisscom and complained about my mobile service. Still raining. No. That's very nice. The church over there. We're just walking down the road in the rain for Erlenbach is where we're heading. This is Darstetten Church. It's very simple, except for some 300 year old wall paintings, 350 year old wall paintings. That's the organ up there. 1664, it says there. But it was built in 1664. Lunchtime. Under this barn. A couple of kilometres out of Darstatten. Just above the river. It's the super slip and slide bridge. It was designed to make you slip. It's very slippery over there. I'm going along that. Right. What is there to... If you block the route, that's not going to help. Nice waterfall. As you can see currently in this field it's very dark and there is steam rising from the grass. It's very bright over there and it's very dark down here. Strange light. We're at the base of the Stockhorn. It goes into the clouds. But more interestingly, down here, you see that? That's a five leaf clover. There, that's a four. I think there's another four, yes, here. One, two, three, four. And we are nearly in Erlenbach. These are the outskirts of Oi, or Dientigen, which seems to be a sort of binary town with two blobs either side of the river in the middle of Oi. Oh, it's a baby looking out of the nest. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, five, five, five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see it very nice. I could live in Oi. I could live in one of those sheds. An Oi shed. Just like in England. This is uh, Oi. Drinking in Oi. Binge drink. Binge drink for the Saturday. My feet are yeah. I live my life by one simple adage, and that is, you can't have too much cheese. And that'll mean this makes sense at quarter to ten at night just before I go to bed. <laughs>